Hoist the sails and head for Hollywood. Dodgers and Pirates up next here on WZKY. Good evening, baseball fans. You are tuning in to Pirates Baseball here in WZKY. We are here at Dodger Stadium inside the Pirates broadcast booth brought to you by Hickman Pitching School. Hickman is the name. Mechanics is the game. Today's matchup is between our hometown Pittsburgh Pirates, who are sitting in third place in the NL Central with a record of 28 and 24, taking on the first place in the NL West Los Angeles Dodgers here in Hollywood. The Buckos lineup is as follows. Leading things off in left field is Josh Harrison. Batting second, also playing second, Neil Walker. In the three hole, Andrew McCutcheon, followed by the cleanup man, Pedro Alvarez. Ike Davis, Gregory Polanco, Omir Santos catching, Eduardo Nunez at shortstop, and Vance Worley, the pitcher, rounds things out. On the mound for the Dodgers is Chad Billingsley, the right-hander at a Defiance, Ohio. 2-1 in the season with a 4.30 ERA in 10 games, 14 innings, giving up 16 hits and 13 strikeouts. Chad Billingsley is getting this start after coming out of the bullpen. He's getting called on because Clayton Kershaw is on the 15-day DL with a shoulder strain. And they had to call on Billingsley. Digs in Josh Harrison now for the Buckos, batting 263, leading things off. 0 2 count on Jay Hay. Billingsley gets set to deliver the 0 2 pitch. The kick. And the pitch is high fastball, 91 mile per hour cheese, and Jay Hay swings through it. He goes down swinging. That's a strikeout for Chad Billingsley. And that brings up Andrew McCutcheon, who's hitting 3 for 18 which totals out as a 167 average in his last five games. He has really been hitting the slump lately. And he's a very big part of this Buccos team, so that's not a very good sign. 0-2 count to Kutch. The kick. And the pitch from Billingsley is lined into center field. He is under the And Crawford puts it away for the final out of the inning. That'll be all for the top of the first inning here for Pirates Baseball on WZKY. Welcome back to Pirates Baseball here in WZKY, powered by Mike Seafood and Sports Bar, the home of the best fish and the best music in the greater Pittsburgh area. The lineup for the Dodgers, leading things off in center field, Kyle Crawford, second, Andre Ethier, Adrian Gonzalez, third, Yasiel Pui, cleanup, followed by Hanley Ramirez, AJ Ellis, Juan Uribe, Alex Guerrero, and rounding things out, the pitcher, Chad Billingsley. On the mound for the Buccos is Vance Worley, 8 1 on the season. With a 2.06 ERA in 19 games. A mix of those are starts, a mix of those are bullpen appearances. As he has recently gotten a starting job here for the Buccos. And he is dominating so far as he is their best pitcher. The 26-year-old out of Sacramento, California has taken his opportunity. And he has shown what he is really made of. The Vanimal gets the start here. And as Carl Crawford digs in for the Dodgers to lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. 1-0 count to Crawford. Worley getting set. The kick. And the pitch is grounded to the second baseman. Walker fields it. Fires the first. Like Davis scoops. And that's one out here in the bottom half of the first. Vance Worley's repertoire is he has a four-seamer maxing out at 92. A slider, a two-seamer, a cutter. And his changeup is the slowest pitch. Going all the way down to a 79. That brings up. Andre Ethier, 3-0 count, the pitch, and Ethier swings at the 3-0 pitch. He got some good wood on that. It's a high fly ball to deep right field. That's to the wall, and it's to the track as Polanco has some trouble with it. Looks like he lost it in the sun or something, but he was able to put it away for the second out of the inning. Full count now on Agon. The kick, and the pitch from Worley is taken for a changeup up in the zone. He could not get the bat off his shoulder, and Agon goes down looking. That's the end of the first inning. We are still scoreless here for Pirates Baseball on WZKY. Welcome back to Pirates Baseball here on WZKY. We are here in the top of the second inning. 2-1 count on El Toro to lead things off. The pitch from Billingsley is ripped into the right center gap. That one's going to land. It can't make the play. Carl Crawford could not make the play. And that's going to be running of the bull. El Toro heads in a third. Head first slide. And he gets in. That's a triple for El Toro. He put on all his speed that he possibly had. And now we've got a runner on third with no outs for the Buccos. 2-2 count on Ike Davis. Here comes the pitch from Billingsley. That's granted to Ramirez at shortstop. He's going to field that one. No play at the plate. 
So he takes the easy way out at first. That's one out. But Ike Davis gets the job done as he strikes first with Buckos as El Toro comes in to score. And now Gregory Polanco, who's hitting 299 with one home run and one RBI. Those home run and RBI are still from his first major league at bat in that inside the park home run. Billingsley getting set to deliver the first pitch of the at-bat here with one out. Here it comes, and that's first pitch swinging. Ripped in a right field. That's back, and it's out of here. Gregory Polanco clear the decks. Cannonball coming. He only needed to see one pitch in order to know he was going to take it out of the ballpark. It's now a 2-0 Buckos lead here in the top of the second. Two outs in the inning. Eduardo Nunez digs in. Here comes the pitch from Billingsley, and that's given a ride. It's a high fly ball in the left field. Andre Ithier is there. He puts it away, and that's the final out of the top of the second inning. It is now a 2-0 Buccos lead with, off two hits. We will be right back here for Pirates Baseball on WZKY. Welcome back to Pirates Baseball here in WZKY. We are here in the bottom half of the third inning as Juan Uribe, the third baseman, digs in for the Dodgers to lead things off here in the bottom of the third. 0-2 count. Here comes the pitch from Worley. That swung through the down and away cutter. He gets Uribe to strike out. And there you see the NL League leaders. Jose Fernandez with nine is the leader. Worley with eight. Madison Bumgarner also with eight, followed by Gio Gonzalez with seven, and Cliff Lee, Marco Estrada, and the Dodgers, Clayton Kershaw with six. Full count now on Alex Guerrero, the second baseman. Worley getting set. Here comes the pitch, and that's going to be lined into center field. That could land, but McCutcheon gets to it just barely before it lands. And he puts it away for the second out of the inning, as that's a flyout from Eric Guerrero. One-two count now on the opposing pitcher, Chad Billingsley. Worley getting set to deliver the pitch. The kick and the pitch. Here it comes. That swung through the 91 mile per hour fastball. He could not get the bat around on it. And we are still scoreless and hitless for the Dodgers after the end of third. We'll be right back here for Pirates Baseball on WZKY. Welcome back to Pirates Baseball here on WZKY. Pedro Alvarez digs in to lead things off for the Buccos. He's got 15 bombs on the year. And so far in this game, he's already won for one with a triple. And he's already scored a run as Don Mattingly is going to tell his infield to shift to the right. As if you've got a pole hitter or an El Toro at the plate and nobody on. Here comes the 2-2 pitch from Billingley. And that's going to be grounded perfectly into the shift. Ramirez fields it, fires the first. The scoop from Agon. And that's one out now in the inning. Full count here on Ike Davis. Billingsley getting set. The kick. And the pitch is taken for a ball down in the zone. That's ball four. Take your base, Ike Davis. Runner on first with one out. Now for the Buccos to bring up Gregory Polanco. Hitting 308 now at the home run back in the second inning. Ike Davis on first with one out. Billingsley gets set to deliver the first pitch. Here it comes. And he's first pitch swinging once again. That's given a ride into right center. It's out of here once again. Gregory Polanco clear the decks. Cannonball coming. His second home run of the ball game. And he's only faced two pitches and two home runs. He knows what he needs and he does what he does. He comes up with two home runs. 1 0 cap. Now to Eduardo Nunez with two outs in the inning. Here comes the pitch from Billingsley, and that's going to be given a high fly ball into center field. The speedy Carl Crawford's there. He puts it away. For the final out of the top of the fourth inning. We will be right back here for Pirates Baseball on WZKY. Welcome back to Pirates Baseball here in WZKY. We're here in the top half of the fifth with two outs in the inning. 1 1 count on Neil Walker. Here comes the pitch from Billingsley, and that's going to be grounded to second baseman Guerrero, and he can't handle it as he tried to pick it up before he fully had the ball, and he was able. Do not able to control it. Runner on first for the Buccos now and Neil Walker to bring up Andrew McCutcheon. Full count on him. Here comes the pitch from Billingsley. That's taken for a ball. Take your base cutch. Runners on first and second now for the Buccos. And that's going to end the day for Chad Billingsley as Paul Mahone, the ex-pirate, actually comes in for the Dodgers. 12 games appeared, one all record with a 3.47 ERA and 23 innings pitched. All of those out of the bullpen so far in this season. 
He's going to come out of the bullpen to face his former team. El Toro digs in now. 2-2 cap. The pitch from Mahome is ripped into the right center gap. That's going to score one for sure for the Buccos. And the next runner is going to come around third. El Toro is going to hold up at second. And that's going to be two runs for the Buccos. And Mahome is shown no mercy by his former club. It is now a 6-0 lead for the Buccos. 0-2 count now on Ike Davis. Still two outs in the inning, obviously. The pitch from Mahomes. Check swing Davis. And the umpire says he went around. Ike Davis goes down swinging. Mahomes gets a strikeout. Gets his way up inning, but not before giving up two to make it a 6-0 Buckos lead. Dodgers still have no hits at the end of the top of the fifth. We'll be right back here in WZKY. Welcome back to Pirates Baseball here in WZKY. We're here in the bottom half of the sixth. 1-0 cat to Carl Crawford. That's lined on the right field line. Just barely stays fair. And Carl Crawford finally picks up the first hit of the ball game for the Dodgers here in the bottom half of the sixth inning. Vance Worley has given up a few walks, but that was the first hit he's given up. 2-1 count. Now to Andre Ethier. That's grounded to Alvarez. Quick throw to second. Gets that out. Fires the first. And that's a... 5-4-3 double play. Alvarez to Walker to Davis. And now that's going to bring up Adrian Gonzalez. 0-2 count on him. The kick and the pitch from Worley is check swing. The ump says he went around. And Adrian Gonzalez goes down swinging the end of the inning. That's the end of the sixth. 6-0 six Buckos is the score. We're right back. He for Pirates Baseball on WZKY. Welcome back to Pirates Baseball here in WZKY. We are here in the bottom half of the ninth as Charlie Morton's going to come on as it is a 6-0 Buckos lead. He's going to try to close things out here. He recently lost his starter job, and that was what allowed Worley to come in. A 2-1 cap is lined into shallow center field, and Nunez is there to put it away as the shift was on. And Nunez is right where he needed to be. That's one out now in the bottom of the ninth. 0-2 count now on Puig. The pitch from Morton. Curveball! Check swing, but it doesn't matter. It was in the zone. That's a strikeout on Yasiel Puig. And now that's two outs now in the bottom of the ninth. Hand the Ramirez at the plate now. The first pitch from Morton is grounded to Alvarez at third. Fields it, takes his time, fires the first. And that's three outs. And that means the ball game is over. Raise the Jolly Roger. The Buckos win. The Buckos win. 6-0 is the score. Vance Woolley pitched an amazing day on the mound. Seven innings pitched, only giving up two hits and racking up six Ks for the Vanimal in today's start here in Dodger Town. He improves the 9-1 in the season and drops his ERA down to below two. It is now a 1.80 ERA. He also ties Jose Fernandez for the lead in the National League for most wins. El Coffey, the rookie, also picks up his second and his third home run of his career. And also picking up three RBIs. He was a key part to this Buccos win here against the Dodgers in L.A. And with that being said, they'll wrap things up here at Dodger Stadium for this ballgame. Don't forget to tune in next time here on WZKY for the next edition of Pirates Baseball. Play my favorite song.